Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Oh gosh, I am so sorry for the amount of time gone. Um, we was changing over our um, broadband provider and we had the date set and so our old broadband we thought well, right we'll cancel it the day after installation of the first one so that we won't be left with no internet and then they came on the day couldn't do it they said oh there's no like um fiber optic cables coming into your house for you to have the super fast broadband the, it, the road's got to be dug up so he was like all right and they said yeah and we have to get planning permission like p permission for the council to do it so they went away the next day we had our like internet and then but we thought we had it up until midnight we only had it up to midday so we missed the boat there and then we've been without internet ever since waiting and it's been snowing and they've just been waiting to get the permission waiting for the people to come and dig up the road and then once they've done that now we're back but i've been filming all this time so apart from this one because i thought i'll quickly film today and try and get this up to explain where i've been so i don't have to say it a million times but all the videos that you're going to see for probably the next week and a half maybe two weeks i have been filming and all the time i'm moaning that we ain't got no internet and we're all going stir crazy <laughs> so I'll carry on chit chatting in a minute. What I'm doing today is using up the ugly stuff. Now we all we've all got it, haven't we? Like we buy a paper pad, it's got some gorgeous ones in. This was from a vintage um it was just called vintage, I think, scrapbook paper. Really lovely pages, like for the majority. And then this one with like trilby hats and that and bowler hats. Never gonna use it. I think I used a bit of it once when I made a little open hat card. I think I called it a gentleman's valet and a, a little open hat card. But um, other than that, I ain't gonna never use this bit of paper. So I thought I'll make a cover out of it, but I've got to dis um, disguise all the ugliness. So I've got a really dry and bristly brush, like glue brush. Um, well, I don't even really even use it for glue that much now because it's really bristly. It's um, like an edge job, but it's really good for getting the thinnest of layers because it's so scratchy. I can sort of drag the gesso about. Don't have to um, gesso really, but yeah, like see, where I've got that big thick bit, and then I can really spread it with this bristly, rough brush just to get a light covering over and yeah I'm going to try and just disguise as much of the paper as I can and I will do both sides but for today I'm just working on this side and yeah I am going really rough with the brush because I do just want a really thin thin layer that I can work upon just dot that in some of there. Get near the edges a bit. Right. And so, yeah, that is where I've been for a couple of weeks. And um, we got back onto our old provider. I was like, oh, you know, we was cancelling tomorrow. Um, can we extend it another week? And they went, no. <laughs> no, you're leaving. And... It's, a, it's the press of a button, I'm sure, you know, or like just sort of like on a computer, you know, it's just sort of switch you on or switch you off, do you know what I mean? But no, they was like, no, no, it's got, um, you've cancelled, the only way we can extend it is if you start a new contract. <laughs> well, that won't going to happen. And so, yeah, we just, um... I've had to go with that. My boys have been buying top-up mobile data for their phones and going on their phones like that. But, um, again, 
with my contract, the only way I could get more data is if I up my contract, like upgrade it. I'm rubbish, things like that. <laughs> so, yeah, that ain't been done. So, I just had to go with that. Um, and because we thought it was just going to be a day or two, like the man originally said, he went, oh, yeah, don't worry, it's going to come next tomorrow or next day. But they couldn't because they had to get permission and all that. And um, so I used up my internet on my phone on the first day, just watching YouTube, not knowing that, I was, it was gonna all be over and I weren't gonna have it. So, yeah, that was a bit of a nightmare. So, anyway, I thought I'll film this one to explain. And then, yeah, um, I'm just gonna slip it in because I had all videos to upload. And, yeah, I've got even more now. And um, I haven't been able to, obviously, because I ain't had no internet connection so yeah i've got um videos coming up but i will be moaning about the wi-fi <laughs> or lack of yeah the broadband whatever you call it right so i'm just going over with tea dye at the minute and it's all random this is mainly going to be covered up if there are going to be little bits peeking out um i'm just stamping here and there and I thought where this is brown, I'm going to go like with naturals and nature kind of looking colour and um, style. Um, like if it was a darker or, a, or like a pastel colours or something, I might go like with a different theme. But I think sticking to the colour theme that is behind... Um, make it easier on yourself and then if bits are poking through as long as you can't see the, the axe and that it'll look all right so yeah i'm just dotting here and there with this stamp and yeah i'm going to try and uh just get a little bits of script and whatnot and then um I'll go in darker again because I've gone in with tea dye first and now I'm going in with um, vintage photo but I'm going to go a little bit darker so I've got a little walnut stain here and yeah just overlapping them and that it don't matter where I'm going really let's get a bit of this flower That's not really showing up that much. Maybe I need to get a new one of this little walnut stain. I think I've dried it all out. To be honest, it's not really showing up. So I'm going to go in with the black soot. I'm pulling out the big guns now. Oh, yeah, see. That little walnut stain must have dried out. I do like it. I must get myself, I must treat myself to a full-size one. I keep putting things on my Amazon wish list. It's getting longer and longer. <laughs> but yeah, it, um, I've got a big family. We have birthdays galore near enough all year round. So treating yourself is is a treat. <laughs> right, let's see. I'm liking this so far. I know it looks a bit like, oh my God, what is going on? But I'm sure once we've got all this side covered, we'll end up with something that we can cut a cover from. Right, let's get some of this script. Uh, there, 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 um, there. Yep, I'm liking that. Oh, I've got a big empty space right there. Um, yeah, there's a couple of empty spaces, but we're only just starting, aren't we? Um, is this really that dry? Let's see. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, not really showing up at all. Shame. I like that. Right. I shall clean that off in a jiff. Oh no, I've got one in. Don't even have to wait. I've got one right there. Oh, look how filthy it is. <laughs> have you missed my cleaning? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, this house has been a frustrated... Um, little like like we was cast adrift from the rest of the world um with no internet and then yeah the boys kept buying top up internet and all of that spending more and more money but um yeah it got sorted in the end right so now I'm liking how that is looking and them hats are getting fainter which is exactly what I want um, I'm thinking going with like I said natural colours nature -y kind of what's it patterns and layers so I'm going to look for a couple more nature -y napkins right I found this one and I know it's a bit um, alter me with the pumpkins and that but these things do grow all year round and I really like the foliage and that so I'm going to use this um, actually I might even use the foliage and the flowers but not the actual pumpkin I might just like use it in pieces but Mm. So that top bit's only got one. Maybe I'll just use that bit and I'll have I'll use it down the bottom. Yeah, let's just maybe do that. <laughs> so I've really missed you so much and I've missed watching people that I watch day in, day out and chatting to people. Um, it's been awful and I've just had to bide my time. Luckily I have Audible so all my um, books and any podcasts that I'd subscribed to and downloaded were on my phone and you could access them can't you? Um, you don't need the internet you can go on it offline which has been an absolute godsend to me so I have just listened to a lot of stuff and then yeah just been having our fingers crossed my son was ringing every day and I know I'm using the same brush but I'm, I haven't had a chance to go and wash it and I might as well use it rather than having to wash up too right and yeah I'm just going with the whole lot all the way across because it's a perfect fit and really nice so yeah it um I was lucky to have my books and obviously I read a lot anyway so I've got normal books manual books but I ended up watching some films with my family um, that I never normally sit down and watch films. And obviously I'll just carry on filming. But um, as you'll find out in the coming videos, <laughs> I was starting to go a bit stir crazy. And I know that's not a big stretch because I'm already borderline lunatic so <laughs> it um yeah it it gets a bit <laughs> a bit mental i think i can't actually remember what i was saying and that but i think i do start to go a bit stir crazy because you don't realize how much you use the internet and i'm loving these big juicy looking apples so i know i'm going a bit willy-nilly just tearing but um i'm going to build up quite a few layers but yeah i could top them about they look wonderful them apples i love them right 
Yeah, I think we'll have one up there, we'll have one there, and this one. That can go up there. Mm. Right, so we'll have them like that. And so, yeah, I, I could have just uploaded them in the right order, but I did think I'd get this little little one in first to tell ya I like to explain so I ain't got to keep explaining um, here there and everywhere but I like, put me really behind because I'm working on a digi kit and I've got like images and whatnot that I've been I've sourced here there and everywhere um, old photographs and things that I've scanned on but I don't have Photoshop I use a website where you can edit and like do stuff and lay up, up images and everything. So I do it all online. So I couldn't work on my digi that I wanted ready to release um, on the 1st of February, which has come and gone. Like I've been, what's it been about three weeks that we've had no internet, I think. Um, and yeah. It um it put me all out of um out of I don't know what the word is. I was off schedule, that's it. It put me all off schedule for working on that digi that I wanted to release. So now I've got to catch up and start working on that. Luckily, I have got videos to upload, so I can um, devote a bit of time to um, working on my DG. But, um, yeah, it was so frustrating, because I just started, you know, like when you sort of get your flow going, and you know, you sort of, have got the idea in your head, but you're like sort of playing about with it not too sure and then it clicks and you start like sort of feeling like it's going how you want it and i only got a couple of pages in i think yeah two pages that i was happy with and then the no internet and so now i can't even remember what i was really doing or what my um what my um goal was gonna be with that digi kit you know what i wanted the end result i kind of remember but i've got to get my mojo back in that area because i've not been able to work on it at all and the longer it went on the more my brain was emptying <laughs> of the ideas that i had had right i like that about I've got to remove that straight edge at the bottom because we can't go to the bottom because we've got our pumpkins there which I might even, they might even end up, well that, there's one, might end up being covered up um, but that fits in nicely there and so as you can see we're losing them hats and starting to get a really nice naturey looking page so oh that fits nicely kind of in there or ah oh, that could be like sort of cupping cupping the apple a little bit right. and we've got a flower we can dot in there and I don't want to forget about my bees, but not oh, got in. That somewhere like that. Yeah. And it might look all a little bit slapdash at the minute, but we're only just beginning, aren't we? I'm just getting the base down. 
covering up the ugly paper and hopefully we will end up with something rather lovely at the end. I've got this lovely one. Oh, and I've got butterfly in there and the uh, rose. Oh, I've got something there. Um, no, I'll put the rose up in that corner. It fits in nicely. And I still want camera. Right, and I could have that come along that edge. Oh, it puts that butterfly upside down. That don't matter, we'll cover that butterfly up. <laughs> Our little drunk butterfly that's upside down. <laughs> and then I've got this gorgeous one. So I'm just going to get the back off. And I'll move my bit of scrapbook paper that we're working on so that I can cut out some flowers and some lovely bees. Right. I don't want to go mental with these. But I don't want to be on the wet either. Um, and I don't know why I started right up there. Right. Them two are nice together. Mm. Right. Let's get that little one. And um, grab that pair with that flower and then we've got another one right um and just get rid of the straight edge i'll just go with them for a minute I'm upside down. Mm. And so, yeah, I've got a, I think I've got a take free envelopes to go up. Um, oh, I also did an altered notebook we've got that to go up um i can't remember where i was with <laughs> with the um videos that i've got they're all all the ones i filmed are on my desktop but um yeah i've when i take this one up i've got to check on youtube what i um what i'd uploaded yet and what's still to go because where it dragged on and on and on, I um, started to get a bit confused towards the end. And I'm just tearing that off because it has gone a bit weird. Probably where I picked it up to move it, I could do with a little bee up there. Where's my bees gone? Oh, I've dropped them on the floor. Right. <laughs> Where was I saying? Up there, wasn't I? Um, I'll just gently try and tear like that. Yeah, I think that's okay. Right. As you can see, all of this is quite wet now but we can see no bowler hats or anything like that at all so i'm gonna leave this to dry off now go and quickly upload this so i can tell you where i've been and um yeah then i need to crack on and sort out all the other videos that i filmed while we were stranded cut off from civilization <laughs> 
with no internet. So yeah, that's where I've been. But I'm back now and hopefully I won't have no other calamities in my life that make me have a big long break like that again. So thank you very much for joining me. Once again, I do apologise for the um, disruption and no new content. But, oh, it was really out of our hands. We didn't have no control over it at all. But I'm glad you're here. And, um, yeah, hopefully I have got some good videos that are coming up. But, yeah, don't worry about me moaning about not having no internet. Because by the time you're watching it, I've got it again. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much. I love you all loads. Bye.